So we've all met these priests that are kind of in this priesthood vocation, but not really. It's kind of like more of a job at this point, right? Our saint of the day was exactly that, okay? So saint, our saint of the day is Saint Joseph Benedict. And he was this priest who kind of used this priesthood as a job more so than a calling. You know, maybe, maybe, at the, I don't know, but maybe at the beginning of his, um, priesthood life it, he saw it as a calling and then somewhere in the middle he kind of just like ugh, went down became a routine and you know it kind of just became something he did so anyways this the guy was woken up in the middle of the night to give someone their last right um, it's it was this pregnant woman who was having a baby and she needed medical help but no one was there to help her and they couldn't afford a doctor so they called the priest because well yeah she's gonna die so basically, he went over to her, he gave her her last rites, he heard her confession, gave her communion, blessed the baby, did whatever he needs to do with the child, and watched both of them die. That event shook him to his core, and he realized that priesthood is not a job, it's not about the routine things, but it's about loving to the limits, to, until the limits are actually broken. And so what he went out and did was open a shelter for the homeless and the needy and a lot of people came in and volunteered. Um, he refused the government's assistance because he wanted this to come from the people. And then the, the, it was closed down during the cholera because they believed that, you know, maybe this is where the sickness came from. And then it was reopened later. Today, um, he's founded a lot of many different orders, but today these orders and these um, houses are still open and they serve more than 8,000 people every day. I thought it was really cool to see that transition between um, job and vocation. Because it, this, is a, this is a true cycle kind of almost for every vocation, whether you're married or single or uh, religious, uh, whatever the case is, whatever your vocation is, life can become a routine. And it can become such like, a, maybe like a drag to, to do. Oh, I go to work every morning, I come back, I take care of the kids, I do this, I do that. And it all seems like it's the same thing. Well, no. God called you to be there and God called you to act with love. And not just that. He's giving you these resources, whatever it is that you have, to use them for His glory. So that people who are there experiencing life around you can see Him. Can see Him in you. You know, what are the resources that you have and how are you using them? Maybe for me, my camera, my tripod, my headphones, my eyes and brain to read. Um, these are my little things that I can do. Time, for example. Um, these are my little uh, things that I could use. What are yours? And I, I have a lot more things, of course, and God has given us a lot, so I have to invest more into God's glory. Um, the God's kingdom so that his glory can be seen everywhere but this is just a small example what are your resources it could be as simple really as simple as your phone on a tripod in his words anyways that's it for today don't forget to like to share to subscribe to follow uh, at the word with Rita on Instagram uh, Facebook slash the word with Rita and if you want to see the actual nice quality videos check out my YouTube channel slash Rita say call it R-I-T-A-S-A-I K-A-L-I. That's it for today, and I will see you next time.